All right, so in this video, I want to play my game and I want to show one of the kind of annoying features of it. And that is, you can see when my ship is getting hit by bombs, um, they don't actually have to make contact with my ship for it to get uh, damaged. And the same thing goes for the enemies. So you can see that sometimes I'm really kind of hitting, um, not hit, not hitting the actual pixels in the image. So let's think about why that happened. This happens. Uh, I'm going to uncomment some code here, and this is not code you'd want in your game, in your actual game. But um, what I did is I made some code that draws the rectangle um, that bounds a shape on the screen, and you can see what's happening um, is that as soon as the as soon as the bullet hits the rectangle that surrounds the ship, and the same thing with the enemies, um, that's when the collision is detected. And what I would rather do is use pixel perfect collision detection. So let's go take a look at how we would do that. All right, I'm gonna move. And it, it's this is a really simple thing to do, quick fix. Um, and we'll talk about why you might not want to do it. So some situations you might not want pixel perfect collision detection. So the first thing I'm going to do is for our sh when we load our ship image, the very next thing we have to do is we have to create a mask. And so we're going to go self.mask equals, and it'll be pygame.mask from underscore surface. And then we'll say self.image. And what this is doing is taking the image and it's just getting a, a list of you know, which, which, which pixels in that rectangle have something in them and which ones are transparent, all right? So that, that now we know these are the pixels that contain something in it. And we're gonna do this to the laser as well and do a mask. And now the laser knows where its pixels are. And then there's only one more step to go. And that is um, everywhere we detect collisions, and so here we're checking the bombs. What we're going to do is add just a little bit extra to this, and it's going to be um, pygame dot sprite dot collide mask. And so, what this extra argument does is it tells you know the collision detection uh, function in pygame uh, to use the actual pixels in the mask when you're detecting collisions rather than use the, um, rather than just use the bounding rectangles. And so let's see if this works. So now we'll watch, let the enemy shoot at me. And let's see, and you can see that now the, the laser gets into the rectangle and it has to actually make contact with me before, uh, before the collision is detected. And so if we wanted to do that with the, like right now, you can see that, you know, we still don't have pixel perfect collision detection with the enemies. So if we want pixel perfect collision detection with the enemies, then we simply need to go add this line to your um, enemy class, okay? Or to all of your enemy classes right after you load the image. And then this part right here, the Pi Game Sprite Collide Mask, right? It's in the, it's where we check collisions. And so um, you'll have to add that everywhere collisions are checked. So you should actually, let's see, um, we should do it in the power ups. Um, and let's see, the enemies. Um, yeah, the enemies are checking for collisions here. So we could get um, check using a mask there. We'll create their mask. We should probably give all of our power ups a mask. Right, just just like we did everything else. Um, and, you know, basically every time you load an image, give it a mask and just go through your program and everywhere you um, are detecting collisions, just add that extra little bit about the, um, the uh, collide mask. And that should take care of it. Now, just one comment on this, and let me make my code play, my game play normal again. Um, one comment on this is like, why wouldn't we always do um, pixel per Why wouldn't we always do pixel perfect collision detection? And really, it's just because mathematically, it is simpler um, for the computer to do um, rectangle collision detection. And so, in a game like mine, where it's where there's not much going on, there aren't too many things on the screen at the same time, there aren't too many collisions to check to check, uh, pixel perfect collision detection is probably going to work just fine. Uh, however, if 
you have a game with hundreds of enemies and they're firing shots like crazy when it was like kind of, you know, bullet hell sort of games, um, you might find that the math the computer is doing to detect the pixel perfect collisions um, starts to take too long and your game gets a little bit laggy. So my suggestion would be to put pixel perfect collision detection in and play your game for a while. And if the performance seems good, then go ahead and leave it. Right. So I hope this um, quick little tip uh, makes your game a little bit more fun to play. And if you have questions, let me know.